Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. It's another day. I'm going to continue working in this area here. And I have been looking at this part. And what I want to do is cut this out and then cut a piece of metal to make a new patch just from here down to here. I'm trying to gauge where the metal is good. It's a bit dented there. I think if I come across it at about this height here, or maybe up at an angle like that, maybe in an arc like that, round to there, that might be the best thing to do. My idea is to use a piece of metal from another part of the car. I want to use a, a piece of metal that is already got a little bit of form in it. I'll show you what I'm thinking. I was thinking maybe this area here, like that. Now the thing is, the welding that I'm doing using the, these patch panels I've cut from here isn't going very well and I think it's because of all this sort of old corrosion that's on these panels. Might not be, I just don't know. But I'll show you something else. This is part of the repair panel that I did this repair with. You can imagine that piece that I've just showed you comes across like this above there, like that. So what I'm thinking is maybe if I can cut a piece, well, I don't know, to be honest, if, if I cut this off and then cut a piece of metal, this area here, it has got a tiny bit of shape to it. This is a piece that I've just cut from, if you can imagine that there, but a bit longer. I've just cut this piece sort of from there. So this piece is uh, from about there on the corresponding panel on the donor car. I don't know if I may have bitten off a little bit more than I can chew by trying to incorporate some sort of a flare into this end. I just don't know to be honest. But if it, I'll try it and if it doesn't work I'll just cut it off. But I need to put like a half inch um, flange on the end there. And that will slip under this piece. And then when I get them all together, I can, uh, you know, cut this out and then trim this down probably. Okay, leave me with it. And you've got the idea. That's my donor piece. And you can see, maybe, can you see? It's got a very slight curve to it. But when I... When I bend that piece there, 90 degrees, it'll straighten it. Because it does want to be straight along there. Because the, the sill is straight. Oh, then it wants to come out, obviously. Okay, righto, leave me with it then. And um, I'll do a little bit of 3D metal sculpture. Okay, back in a bit. This is an example of using my press as a folding break. I've got this piece of metal here clamped down there look the press pressing down on it so this edge is against the uh, edge of the angle iron there edge of the channel. I, I don't know if I'm using the right thing here but I'm going to use this mallet to uh, tease the edge under. I thought if I use the mallet it'll put less marks in it. Because this is um, against an edge like that, uh, you know, you can go beyond 90 if you want to. That's worked pretty well, I'd say. So there's my piece. That 
folding that edge will have uh, flattened it out. In fact, it's bent it the other way. That's put a very slight curve the other way, that has. So I need to very, very gently shrink that flange very, very gently. I, I don't think I'll be able to do it gently enough, to be honest. But anyway, let's offer it in place and see how it looks. I've cut the other piece out and you can see here this is typical you know standards of the day you know I'm um, all hell broke loose when I said I was going to screw the sills on well I think you know being screwed on would be better than that but anyway I'm not bitter let's just offer this in Oh, come too short there, look. Come too short there, that's a bloody annoying me. But it doesn't matter, because I can come this way a bit. Let me uh, do a bit of bash, bash, bash then, and I'll uh, I'll come back in a little bit. Um, just for the record, I had to scrape off like a heavy bitumastic coat that was on this side. And there's probably some in there, hang on, let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, it's run out by the time it gets to there, look. And you can see the hint of the curve there. You can sort of see the curves better from the inside. You can see a bit of rust there, so I think I'll probably do better to cut a bit higher and come down at an angle like that, miss this bit, so that I'm not trying to weld onto something that's too rusty. But I mustn't cut any higher right here at this corner, because I'm kind of on my limit there all right okay I'll bring you back in a little bit hello right I've been bashing away at this piece of metal I'm not expecting to get the exact shape here I'm just expecting something that I'll be able to make blend into a piece that I'm going to make to come up here but it's not a bad um, shape to be honest I need to just get it so it fits nicely all the way along if it's okay to the sill I've put a little clamp there um, I, I took all the paint off it obviously so the question is am I brave enough to try and do a, a butt a butt weld should I just scribe it and um, cut it you can see I'm very close there maybe I need to move the whole thing down a little bit and that might get this a little bit better actually yeah I think I'll slide it this way a little bit and have another look not too bad though and I, I'm not sure what to do here Okay, right ho, back in a bit. If you're expecting uh, something superb, just look away now. I'm just trying to improve on something that somebody did some time ago. This is the sill, and as you can see, it's quite firm now. This was moving quite a bit. I've managed to get um, some tacks there. So I've at least tacked the sill to the old remnants of the inner sill in there. So that's at least firmed up. And then when all the rest of it goes on, it will, it will become very firm. I think I might drill the bottom flange of the piece so I can spot through onto here. Maybe, maybe just um, two or three. Or maybe I'll just try and reach down inside and just put some tacks along along the edge. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. Don't know. We'll find out when it comes to it. Okay, back in a bit. See this tool? It's called a joddler. And what I've done, I've gone along with this tool, all along that edge there, and put a, a joddle in it. And what that does, it just sets it back a little bit. 
and my patch panel which is here which I did put a little stretch on that edge just to straighten it really it's got no shape in it other than that and I did some stretching there got a bit of shape there very rough and this goes under there and it goes there probably a little bit further back hang on goes around about there so let me just clamp it in hang on just a sec uh, you can see that this edge falls outside of the juddle which is what you want it's a little bit tight here and there so I'm going to mark it where it's tight and uh, just sand a bit off the edge so I'll do that um, I'll, I'll try and just do something so that this bit comes in a bit I think the best thing for me to do is just do that little bit of sanding that I said and then start welding it in and then look for any problems and fix them kind of a bit hollow there actually typical you know when you're trying to put a flare on but I think the realization is that some filler will have to be used on this side okay righto let's um let me get cracking on with it then and uh, I'll bring you back when there's more to show Trying to clamp it as gently as possible. I'll push that piece of wood down inside just to wedge it out a bit.
definitely a dent there. Yeah, and there's a bit of a dent there as well. Oil canning, look. See it. I think I'll um I think I'll grind these and then start just joining up in between. When I get that wheel arch in, it'll be stronger. And when I start I don't know how I'm going to do it, managing to tie it all into the inner wheel arch, that'll be stronger still. Okay, I'll stop the recording there because my phone's going flat. But I'll grind that off and I'll um, join the join the dots, finish finish weld it. But I'm taking my time because I don't want to overheat uh, any one area. If I had TIG, I suppose I'd try and TIG it. Okay, righto. Um, you get the idea. I'll bring you back when there's more to show. Hello, here's my patch panel. Um, I don't know if I'm pleased with it or not yet. There's a bit of oil canning been going on and it's a little bit hollow. Um, I, I welded the tacks that you saw. Then I kind of welded a bit, probably about that long. You know, like, Bit, you know, a bit over there, a bit over here, a bit here. Maybe that was a little bit longer than I should have, really. Um, there's... It's not oil canning so much now. Well, there's a little bit, yeah. I think when I grind it and I hammer and dolly it, it might just bring it out a little bit and that will set it in the out position. Like that, maybe. I don't know, to be honest. I don't know which ones that I think it could do with being out, really. Okay. I don't quite know what to do about that. Um, by the time you see this, it will be further in the future. So, you know, um, I, I'm always grateful for advice, but the problem is it, it's nine times out of ten, it's kind of too late, you know, by the time you see the video. I suppose when I join all this together, that will, you know, strengthen that area. I mean, it's starting to take a lot of strength now. There's a lot of strength in it now. Uh, and it will only get stronger. I drilled some holes for plug welds, but I didn't want to do the plug welds until I'd done that. I didn't want the plug welds to suddenly pull it out of shape. But, um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that, really, I think. I think I'm pleased with it. I don't know yet. Okay, I will... Um, well, I'm going to call it good for today. You know, that's a day's work, that is, for me. I know it's not much, but a lot of work there. Okay, especially when you're trying to take your time and not rush the weld in. Obviously, the job isn't finished, so obviously, obviously there's more to do. Okay, thanks very much for joining me in the garage on this little session then. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers then. Bye. Hello. I can't remember where I left off the filming of this. Uh, it's a new day and I have been grinding the weld. And I've got from there round to there. Well, about here actually and I'm trying to grind it very gently to minimize heat and minimize gouging the surrounding metal so I'm going to continue to grind this the welding wasn't too bad oh, I think I did show it yeah I did I did show it the welding wasn't too bad and uh, you know I'm getting on okay with it so I'll continue on. I might as well just grind these as well while I'm at it. Although I don't have great access to those. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll carry on and I'll bring you back when there's more to show.
I've, I've done all the grinding. Well, you know, just the rough grinding. Now, what, what I'm a bit bothered about is there a bit of a dent there. It's gone in there. And there's a bit of a dent there as well, that area there. But what I think I ought to do is probably weld this down to there to stabilise this bottom edge. Well, that's pretty solid. I drilled four holes inside so I can go through with plug welds. I honestly don't know what to do about this sort of this this oil canning effect I, I don't know enough about it but the basic repair is there and um, I think well yeah I will I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to either weld this down on the inside or start constructing this. I suppose stabilising this is the best start, isn't it? Stabilise this to that and then start looking at that there. And then start looking at the blend of this to the new piece. Righto. I will bring you back when there's more to show. Hello. You probably can't see any difference, but I've just been using my newly made slapper, which I, I filed the surface to make it a bit smoother. And <laughs> the only dolly I could find was this thing. And I kind of, there was a dent there, but well, there is a dent there. And you can see the area where I've been doing a little bit of hammering and dollying there to try and just stretch the metal a bit to kind of bring the dent out. You can see there's a bit of a dent there. So I need to do a little bit more there. And here, I did a bit there as well. And I know that there's a dent here that was always there so i've been doing a little bit there i'll put the camera in the um stand and just show you what i've been doing right but the important thing is that oil canning is still there but it's not it, it's state that it wants to be and is now out instead of in see it's coming out before it was in and I had to push it out so I have changed something and there's still a dent here so I've got a little bit more to do I wasn't going to do a bit more but just I'll just kind of show you what I was doing very gently what the problem is normally is it it's knowing when to stop. I'm not, I'm not any sort of an expert at body work, but about nearly 40 years ago, I did, I did, a, I did do a little bit of night school course. And, and, but I can't even sure if I'm not even sure if I remember it right. There's the dent right there. So I've got the dolly behind and I'm just gently going to massage the area. what I've been doing. I can still feel the dent but like I say that oil can is now locked in the out position which is what I wanted. 
you know, because generally the side of the car is convex, isn't it? You don't want a concave bit. Okay. I'm going to cut a piece of angle and use a shrinker and stretcher and try and form a piece to extend this edge down here and that piece up to there. I think that'll be a good place to continue the job. I don't know if you noticed when I was grinding, but I was trying to be very, very gentle. I think I've got a bit of a lump there. I don't know what I can do about that. Just live with it, I think. A bit of filler on here, blend everything in and it won't be too bad. I might just not even bother filling it. I'll see how it looks. But bear in mind, this is a jaddle joint, so there's a groove. There is a groove. Okay. I didn't grind those tacks, so don't worry about that. Let's get that piece in, and that'll kind of lock it all together, won't it? I'll show you the plug welds. I did those plug welds on the inside sort of just leaning in and did them left-handed so not great but you know do my best okay back in a bit then okay probably going to make a rod for my own back but um i'm going to try and document making this piece which will go there it'll go from there to there like that. So I'm starting off with this piece of angle. So you've got to imagine that coming down to there. Now, so basically this face, if we call this the outside face, that's got to be stretched. That's got to be stretched to force it round into that radius like that. And then this inside face has to be shrunk to, to bring it, so it starts off like this and then comes in. Now, when I've what I found on the other side, when I've stretched this, and this face is then curved, it was hard to shrink it. So what I'm gonna try and do, I think, is sh put the shrink in first. To, to transition it from a, coming down vertically to coming down at an angle like that. This is where I could go wrong. I'm hoping my piece here is a bit, little bit longer than I need so I can kind of have a go at it and then trim the ends off. I've also formed this flange wider than it wants to be. Cause if, you can imagine, if, if you can imagine it here like this, yeah, you can see it only wants to come to about there, doesn't it? So, I can then bend the end down to start the transition into this. That's my idea anyway. So, I'm going to put a couple of shrinks here, like this, okay? Oh, uh, once again, I apologise for the mess on my workbench. It's in a constant state of mess. Shrinker, that says there. Shrinker stretcher, very useful tool. Yeah, I need a, a bit of a sh shrink along there. Not too much, so I'll go very gentle. Can you see the curve? Let me go and have a look. My limited experience with these is go gentle. 
it's very easy to overdo it let me offer this up a tiny bit more I think I just don't know to be honest I'm putting you can give it a real good stroke if you excuse the expression and you know really do it but I'm just doing it as gentle as I can I'll show you how that looks on the car you know it don't look bad does it I can't actually get it and then I'll have to see how that looks when I start doing the stretching so I want sort of little bit little bit more more lots 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 don't I that's what I want there these are the stretcher dies so I'm just taking a, a mental image of how it is on the car so I don't do it the wrong way around very <laughs> it's very easy to um, you know give yourself a mirror image of what you want okay now I have cut a, a template of the shape so let me go and see how it looks compared to that Not quite sure where. I do know that I need a bit more though. That ain't bad, is it really? Okay, let's have a look on the car. I'll go and have a look on the car and I'll bring you over. So what's going on here? So the basic shape isn't too bad, is it? What's happening is it's been held up by various pieces of metal, um, including this here, I think. I think I need to cut this back. So I think I need to trim about three quarters of an inch off the bottom. Might need a bit more stretching on there, shrinking on here rather. See that's, that there is holding it off. Mm, okay. Let me, let me have a think. I'll put the camera up there and I'll have a, I'll mess about and see what I can do. Everything's kind of in the ballpark. What I think I'm going to do is um, cut that piece off, maybe, or just cut the cut the corner and then fold that piece under and then fold that piece under, so that there's a curve on this edge here, and then put that level with the bottom. Not much, you know, only about three mil and then cut the top off level with the piece that's above and then I need to scribe down the width of the thing there whatever it is half an inch or five eighths and then put um put a little uh, return on it which I think should be able to be done without any shrinking and stretching 
what I want to avoid is a kink at that transition there okay anyway get in there I need a pair of dividers now to put a mark down there. But that's okay, I think. Like that. <laughs> I'm not an expert, am I? I've got another pair somewhere that have got like um, a lock nut that should go in there. I'll, I'll try and use these. I'll put a, I'll put some pen mark on it first, I think. These are the other ones, look they've got like a locking locking thing. What you want are some odd leg calipers. Don't know if you can see that in the camera. I, I can see it though, just about. Right, I've got to try and hammer that over something now. So I'll find something suitable and try and get that bit of a. I maybe just do it with some pliers actually. Hmm. Maybe just by hand with some pliers. Oh, I've got a. I can't do that end piece though. Okay, hang on. Can you see where I am? I'm just going to put a little bit more of a, a, a uh, you know, tip on it. I'll just tip it a bit more. I'll, I'll use the old chisel in the vice routine, I think. Or maybe I should just do it like I've been doing it. Okay, this is about as close as I'm going to get it, I think. 
Now bear in mind that that thing is supposed to be flared out that sill but that's kind of fitting like that Hang on, I'm kind of pressing it a little bit and then it kind of fits that flare all the way down so I'll have a think about how I can clamp it in position and um, I will try and get a couple of tacks on it okay right out yeah not too bad this is supposed to come out more gentle than this but I don't really know how I can do that I should have thought of that because I could have put a could have put a stretch on that flange there couldn't I push this out a bit still it's gonna do it's gonna be ten times better than what it was okay I'll bring you back when I've got a couple of tacks in place I'll show you it from here, it doesn't look too bad. You can see that the flare on this panel does actually meet this. I'm a little bit surprised, I had to kind of force it a little bit here and there, but this should have come out earlier to there, but I think that's about right. You can see the sills the sill ought to come out of there I might have to kind of fudge it a bit but anyway there we are that's the tacked that's it tacked in and you can see I need to let a little piece in there but you know to be honest I'm very pleased with that it's pretty good the um, the shape of it's not bad Okay, my camera's going a bit low, so I'll stop recording now and I'll bring you back when it's fully done. Okay, thanks for watching, I'll catch you in a bit. Hello. It's, it's probably... It's probably not the best looking 100 e quarter in the world, but... You know, hey, this is my... <laughs> this is my 100 e quarter. Um, okay, I think... I've got all my welds done com com completely, you know. I haven't ground them. I'm going to have a little break now. But it's welded all the way from one end to the other, except where I need to put a little piece of metal in there. Um, it's not bad. This panel has, well, I don't know. I think it might have a little bit of a... Bit, might be a bit low there, but it. Well, is it all okay? canon? Hang on. Oh, yeah. Oh, but it's popped out and stayed out. Okay. Okay, so there is a. There is an oil can there, but hopefully when I join this piece to the inner piece, maybe it'll. Maybe it'll, you know, stay out. Now there is what feels like um, a hollow there and a lump there and a hollow there and then it's all right from there on so yeah oh yeah look at that oh dear it's really wavy isn't it so i don't know if you can see that in the reflection but yeah i've got some major major warpage there that's a shame actually That'll take, well, I just don't know if I will be able to get that out. I just don't know how you're supposed to do it. I just don't know. I don't know enough about it. But anyway, it is welded. And uh, it's not, you know, it's at least solid now. You know, it, it didn't have like... It hasn't got like four pop rivets holding it all together, which is like what it had before. Okay. 
Okay, I'm very disappointed about the warpage. Yeah. Not sure what I can do there. I don't think my little pathetic hammering and dolly and efforts are going to get that out. Okay. But, you know, hey, a tub of body filler would, wouldn't it? I do like other people do, just slather the whole side in it. And just keep sanding it down until it comes smooth. Okay. Okay, anyway. So, I'll call it good at that for today. At least I've got what looks like a reasonable arch in place there. Okay, it might not necessarily look like any other 100 day arch, but it is an arch. And um, it is fully welded. I didn't notice any of those whammies in the side until I did the, f the fully weld. I mean, maybe I've rushed it a bit. Again, I always do that. You kind of, you get in the groove and you want to just keep going on. It is what it is. Let's get, well, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but it might be this rear piece here. And I've got to do the inner wheel well. Which is actually quite a difficult job. But I'll probably do it in like three pieces. Like the central piece. This end and that end. Okay. Righto. Thanks very much for joining me in the garage then. Take care. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers then. Bye.